What's going on everybody? King Tar Heel here and uh today we have some more Mass Effect 3 multiplayer game for play for you guys. Um I still don't have my elusive white whale, the Krogan Battlemaster, uh, another three packs today. Uh no successes there, but in while I was unlocking some of these uh other things and getting the Justicar and stuff, I also did pick up the Geth Engineer and the Batarian Sentinel. Uh so I thought I'd go ahead and do a uh, video of each of those and uh show you guys uh, some of those of you haven't seen them, you haven't unlocked them yet. Uh, so the first video that I'm going to do is going to be the Geth Engineer. And I've never played an Engineer before uh, in the game, uh, Mass Effect 1, 2, 3, uh, and obviously multiplayer. And I was actually pretty surprised at how awesome it was. Uh, it was actually uh, a rather pleasant surprise. So let's go ahead and go through um, what makes the Geth Engineer uh, unique. And we'll go through the first, uh, the three main powers. And the first one is a turret. Uh, you're going to get this. You see the little floating thing by the door there. Uh, it's a, uh, a a turret that you can shoot. And we'll go into a little bit about that. But the turret does a lot of different things. It can heal uh, you, heal your teammate's shields. Uh, I mean, recharge your shields, recharge your teammate's shields. Uh, and it can also do a lot of damage. Uh, and when you fully upgrade it, you can get to flamethrower. And you guys will see the flamethrower uh, aspect of that coming up. Uh, the next thing you're going to see, um, I think coming up shortly, is Hunter Mode. Uh, you'll enter this mode where you're able to kind of go into a, its own little beast mode, and uh, you will get to uh, have faster movement. Uh, you can see through walls and smoke. Uh, you'll do more damage. Uh, you'll have greater accuracy uh, with all your weapons. Uh, but all this comes at the cost. Uh, here, you see I just entered Beast Mode. Uh, not Beast Mode, Hunter Mode. Um, and you can see I can see through the walls. I can see uh, where the enemies are behind the walls. And all this comes at a reduced shield efficiency. So if you're outnumbered or if you're in a corner, uh, going into Hunter Mode can cause you problems as if you're taking damage, you're going to take damage a lot faster and it could possibly kill you. And the third uh, skill you have is Overload, uh, which of course is great against shields, barriers, and synthetics uh, and can be very helpful uh, situationally. So first thing I want to talk about is the turret. Um, and just how really... Um, so you see the flamethrower going there with the turret, uh, killing that guy pretty much. Uh, if it's close range with the flamethrower, um, it's pretty much over for a lot of enemies, especially on the bronze level, if you play at the bronze level. Uh, I'm sure silver level, uh, obviously, it's not going to be that easy. But uh, the turret just really adds a really cool dynamic to the gameplay because you, you, you don't just plan it where you're at. You can shoot it. Uh, so you can place it into choke points that you normally wouldn't be able to get to. Uh, you can throw... Uh, throw it into hallways, you can throw it into, you know, if you're protecting, if you're doing a hacking one, or you're doing an extraction zone one, you can place it uh, in strategic points, and it has a one second cooldown also, so you can place it into, in a strategic point, have it do a damage to an enemy, uh, you see your guys are taking damage, you need to pull it back, uh, you can drop it down close to you guys and have it as a defensive shield. Uh, one of the comments that was brought up, you see I throw it all the way uh, down, like way over there, uh, so you can see it, the range on that thing is uh, quite extensive. Uh, but one of the comments was mentioning about the Asari Justicar in combo with the uh, Geth Engineer is you can have the shield up and then have the turret healing people inside the shield. Um, and then in close range, that adds uh, a whole new dynamic as well. So if there's a lot of enemies around in close range, uh, it can be healing, doing damage, and the shield also doing damage. So the turret um, is one of my favorite things uh, that I've seen in the multiplayer, and it really makes the engineer, uh, which I wasn't that excited about getting. Actually, I got it, and I was very disappointed I didn't get my battle master. And it, you know, this might be another situation where the Geth engineer turns out to be a better acquisition. Uh, I haven't played the battle master yet, so I don't know that for sure, but definitely uh, was thrilled with the Geth engineer, and especially the turret and the the great dynamic. Uh, that the Hunter mode we uh, we talked about uh, pretty extensively already, but situationally, uh, it's probably one of the best spells uh, or skills in the game. Uh, the ability to see through smoke, see through walls, uh, can be great in a lot of different uh, situations. And then the the weapon damage and accuracy uh, when you're with a, a teammate or a team that you know you're probably going to get a revive if you do end up taking damage. Um, the ability to turn it on and really go to town uh, on the enemy can be a great advantage to your team. Uh, so it makes it a very, very powerful spell uh, to have in the game. So uh, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, I uh, should have another Batarian Sentinel 1 uh, coming up in the next day or two. And that's really it. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Hit those like buttons, hit those sub buttons, and uh, have a good night. Take care. Bye.